you know, what do you do when someone, you know, isn't responsive, when, it, when someone isn't engaged? Does that, how, how do you think about that? How do you, how do you uh, approach that? What's your philosophy? We actually just rolled out a sort of a new program because of this. Um, some of our agents are also having a hard time thinking that they're getting blocked from leads just because of the amount of times we call people. Um, and opportunity on our team is abundant, so we don't want to get stuck in, okay, I, this lead is not answering me. Um, we'd rather shop our agents. So we reach out for help. If you can't get in touch with them, maybe another agent on the team can. Um, our ISA certainly can. If you think you're blocked, come into the office, use the office phone, um, anything. Anybody else can try, um, but we want to try to get them. One of the things that I try to uh, instill in my agents is, is ownership. Ownership over your leads, ownership over your business, right? So when we get ghosted, let's go back through our follow-up boss and see, uh, let's look at the lead, right? Did, were we providing value? Uh, one thing I encourage all my agents to do is to take two sentences out of their vocabulary. It's, I'm checking in with you or I'm following up with you. Nobody wants to be checked in with. Nobody wants to be followed up with. Are we providing value? Uh, and maybe if we provided more value, we wouldn't have gotten ghosted. But just like, uh, what, uh, Emily was saying is that we have a, we have a great admin team. They're going to reach out to the lead if, if we can't get them on the phone or if we can't get them via text. They're going to help us out and take care of that. 